And we're live. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the first producer channel. You can look at folks for joy. Welcome back. Oh, sorry we're late. We had a lot of technical difficulties. Uh, difficult. We got kicked off the internet a few times. But anyways, I think this is going to feed now. So, uh, welcome to Fellowship of Joy. Not Fellowship of Welcome to Moment of Joy. Tonight we are reading from John chapter 8, beginning in verse 31. If this is your first time joining us, we're looking at about three quarters of the way through the Bible. We're looking at the fourth book of the New Testament, and it is about a third of the way through just a common New Testament, and yeah, let's get into it. Oh, I'm Pastor Doug. This is Rowan. It's okay. Let's go into it. To the Jews who had believed in him, Jesus said, if you hold to my teachings, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants, and have never been slaves to anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. No slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you are free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's descendants, yet you are looking for a way to kill me, because you have no room for my word. I am telling you that I have seen the Father's presence. No, I'm telling you what I have seen in the Father's presence. And you're doing what you have heard from your father. Abraham is our father, they answered. If you were Abraham's children, said Jesus, then you would do what Abraham did. As it is, you are looking for a way to kill me. A man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. You are doing the work of your own father. We are not illegitimate children, they protested. The only father we have is God himself. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, then you would love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language. For he is a liar and the father of lies. Yet because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? I am telling the truth. Why don't you believe me? Whoever belongs to God, hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. Any questions? don't have any questions in the comments we probably lost all our viewers by being five minutes late um so that phrase you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free we hear that on a lot of movies we see that a lot i think it's was it uh liar liar where where jim carrey yells that in the courthouse but most people don't understand what it's actually about what Jesus is saying is that he, that he is the truth and he speaks the truth. It's Jesus that sets you free. So, anyways, that's something to think about. Um, Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you give us. We thank you for the fact that you speak the truth. We thank you that you set us free and that we are, are free indeed. We're no longer slaves to sin, but we're free to follow you. We thank you that you've given us a permanent place in your family as children of God and heirs, co-heirs with Jesus. We love and praise you, Lord. This we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right. We will see you tomorrow evening. 
at 8.30, hopefully. All right. Until then, bye-bye.